Good day to Miss Mazrina. We are from Subgroup 4, Happy and Joy Team and the Cahya Mata Sarawak Burhad want to present our program proposal entitled Art Program for Sarawak Children Cancer Society. Before proceed the presentation, I'm going to introduce myself and my colleagues. My name is Margaret Minti Masain and my colleagues are Ibirina Victor, Henny Medi, Jasmine Jeffrey, Shukili Andraju and Nor Hazita Binti Hamid. So now I'm going to present the introduction of our proposal. Globally, the most common disease that leads to death of children and adolescents is cancer, especially in wealthy nations. The World Health Organization stated that the probability of survival of the children that are diagnosed with cancer really depends on the nations that they live in. For example, in wealthy nations, more than 80% of children with cancer are cured, while in low to mid-income nations, only 15% to 45% of children with cancer are cured. According to Malaysian Society of Pediatric Hematology and Ontology, MASPO, more than 60% of the children with cancer are now completely cured and children cancer cure rates are substantially higher than those of most adult cancers. Therapies and moral support are very needed for cancer patients as it is very crucial, tiring and very stressful, particularly in children. So most of the children that are diagnosed with cancer are very struggling to endure the countless therapies and spend most of their childhood in hospital and this will lead them to have mental issues if cannot be managed well. So, our proposal outlines a program to embark children's creativity and skills and to enhance problem-solving strategies in order to cheer the children at Sarawak Children Cancer Society, Sarawak. The purpose of organizing this project is to help the children to find joy in doing beneficial activities like art. The children that they target are the children with cancer. We understand that somehow most of them feel like being trapped in a cage, unable to do the things like other healthy children can do. They have many restrictions made by the doctors for the sake of their health. Art therapy may help the children to manage their physical pain and deal with their own feelings as well as improving their skills in terms of cognitive and motor development as how it should be in their growing step. Besides, the activities that we planned require less extensive physical movements and it should be alright for those children to engage and participate in our project as it does not violate the restrictions made by the doctors regarding their health. Nevertheless, the activities are fun. The goal of our project is first to enhance the children's problem-solving skills by providing mind games. The participants will be provided with two types of puzzle games, which are jigsaw puzzle and crochet puzzle. The time allocated for them to complete each of the puzzle is 30 minutes. The second goal is to conduct artistry activities to harness the children's creativity and skills by coloring contest and drawing a mural. We will allocate 1 hour and 15 minutes of time for each of the sessions. The name of our project is Art Programs for Sarawak Children's Cancer Society. We are planning to hold this program on the 17th July 2021 starting from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. The estimated duration for this project is roughly 7 hours. For the next part, this to summarize this proposal, the plan for the program is to hold a fun entertaining activities and contest to allow the children with cancer to participate and express their skills and creativity by means of arts. All of these activities will be conducted based on the standard operating procedure during this COVID-19 pandemic. To officiate the event, the director of Sarawak Children Cancer Society will be giving a welcome speech during the opening ceremony and to enliven this program further, a speaker from Hopless Coaching will be invited to give a motivational talk to the attendees. Next, participants will be divided into two groups and the groups will go to two different rooms 
and the event will take place simultaneously with the help of volunteers from Sarawak Children Cancer Society. The before activities will be carried out, namely coloring contests, jigsaw puzzle, wood cross and also drawing mural on a vest that will be provided by us. At the end of the event, the first three winners in each group will be rewarded with a hamper, stationery and a certificate. Other contestants also will be given a consolation prize including coloring book, stationery and along with a certificate. Lastly, an appreciation gift will be given to the collaborators for putting an effort to enliven the program. So where will this event take place? This event will take place at Sarawak Children Cancer Society. It is located near Taman Desa Wira, Kuching, Sarawak. So for this program, our target community is 20 children, age range from 6 years old to 12 years old. That's all for my part. The next part will be presented by my colleague. Thank you. Hello, good day miss. Next, I will proceed to our committee members and the two main collaborators. The committee members that involved in this program are Shuki Lee Anjaju, who is also the director in our team, myself, Jaslyn Jeffrey, Hedy Medi, Margaret Binti Masain, Narhazita Binti Hamid, and lastly, Ivy Rina Victor. Next, the two main collaborators are Sarawak Children Cancer Society and Hopeless Kuching. For Sarawak Children Cancer Society, they will provide a place for the program along with tables and chairs as well as handling the system maintenance. They also provide four staff from their organization to assist our team throughout the program. Meanwhile, the Hope Place Coaching will conduct motivational talk about physical and mental readiness among cancer children for the attendance. Thank you, that's all from me. The next part will be presented by my group members. Moving into the next content of our proposal, which is about the SWOT analysis consisting of the strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. After further discussion of the SWOT analysis, my team has come up with two ideas for each three components, namely strength, opportunities, and threats, and one idea for the weakness. Firstly, one of the strengths in holding the art program among the cancer children is that we have the sufficient clinical experiences in which involve the care of the young patients. These experiences may be beneficial for us to look after the cancer children throughout the program. Besides that, we are also capable enough to cooperate well with our team members as well as the collaborators as we have the experiences working as a teamwork throughout our life as a student. However, we have no experience in conducting a program before, which may cause the event to be run unsystematically. This is the weakness that we encountered when planning the program. Furthermore, we will gain a new experience from conducting this program. The another opportunity that we get is that we have the chance to create goodwill towards our company as well as the collaborators so that we will be able to conduct a better program for the future. The last component of the SWOT analysis is the threats. One of the two threats is the children, the children who are too ill may not be interested to participate in the activities. Other than that, the parents as well as the guardians of the cancer children might be worried if the event could affect the children's health as well as their well-being. These are the pros and cons that we encountered when planning the program. The next content will be about the promotional plans. There are three types of promotional plans that we chose, which are posters, flyer brochures, and a montage video. The posters that we designed by ourselves will be into two forms, hard copies and digital posters. Two hard copies of the posters of the posters will be distributed by sticking them on the venue signboard. Meanwhile, the digital poster will be uploaded through the social media such as Facebook and Instagram. The flyer with the detail of the program will be distributed through WhatsApp where we obtain their number from the registration Google form as provided in the poster. We will also, pre we will also provide the printed flyers um, during the arrival of the attendees. Last but not least, the montage video of the program's post event will be spread out through Facebook and Instagram. This is the end of my presentation. The next content will be about the operational cost. Thank you. Hi and good day. Now I will continue with the expenses budget for our program. Our company has provided us with 5,000 ringgit as a budget for running this program. As you can see here, 
Our operational budget includes six major items, which are the materials, the logistics, fees and rental, publicity, refreshment, and token of appreciation. Our approximate cost reached 2,209 ringgit and 50 cents for the whole program and do not exceed the amount given by the company. We tried our best to estimate the price range of our items with the normal price on the market, so the budget does not deviate too much. For materials, our team provides extra numbers for the items such as coloring pencils, the brush, the vest, coloring sheets, the wood cross and jigsaw puzzles to prevent any circumstances. For instance, if any of the participants accidentally splash their work with water, we can give them the remaining coloring sheets. We will also provide plastic to cover it during mural sessions for the cleanliness of the program. For the logistics, we rented a minibus for two days, which cost 100 ringgit per day to take us from the company to the program venue, as well as to take us to the market to buy all the items needed. Subsequently, our team has rented two activity rooms and a seminar room which cost 150 ringgit and 200 ringgit respectively for the smoothness of the program. We will provide two A3 size posters that cost 7 ringgit each, which will be displayed on the program venue signboard. A digital flyer will be distributed online through WhatsApp after the registration success. We will prepare flyers that cost 2 ringgit each and will distribute it to the attendees on the day of the program. Activity details and the program tentative are all included in the flyer as well. Our post-event montage video will be created with the help of a video creator with approximate 30 ringgit per video. Takeaway lunch sets with two types of meal including mixed vegetables and fried chicken which cost 7 ringgit per meal will also be provided to the attendees and volunteers at the end of the program. Nevertheless, drinks and biscuits will be given to the participants during the break session. All of the participants will receive the certificate for joining our program. Plugs and hampers will be given to the collaborators as a token of appreciation. That's all for our operational budget for our team. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Next is I'm going to present about the outcomes, all benefits that we will acquire by the end of the program. There are three main outcomes that we will acquire along this program. The first one is the children there will be able to indulge in fun and entertaining activities to improve their mood and emotions. As we know that the children with cancer may have their own stress from the various therapies that they undergo before. The next one is the children will show a positive outcome or input in their creativity and skill and it will expose them the things that they like. The children also will be able to apply the acquired skill and think critically in solving problems in daily living. So now I will conclude our proposal presentation. We covered all of the important parts such as we clearly stated the reason why we conduct this program are to embark children creativity and skills, enhance problem solving strategies as well as cheer the children at the center. The next important matters are for the statement of needs we propose that the art program for Sarawak Children's Cancer Society will be the best program to be set up to help them cope with their problem. We also explain in details about the goals and objective, the description of the project and location of this program. We also clearly present the two main collaborators as well as their roles in this program. And for the SWOT analysis, we talk about these four main things such as our strength, our weaknesses, opportunities, and the threats that we will be facing throughout the program. So for the promotional plans that present by my colleague in details, including the operational cost that consists of six main methods such as the materials, the logistics, the rental, publicity, refreshment, and the token of appreciation. It is our pleasure to inform you that the cost to conduct this project is not deviated much from the budget given. The tentative of the program also have been included in the proposal. Last but not least, on behalf of Happy and Enjoy team, we hope that you will take our proposal into consideration as we really eager and excited to conduct this program. That's all from us. Thank you.